Good morning YouTube land, how you doing? This is Stevie the Scotsman. I just want to document um, my nightmare scenario getting a seized wheel bearing out of a hub. This happens to be a Mazda 626 and the method I employ. There's a lot of ways to do this um, and I just want to show you the way that worked for me. Initially I, I tried the conventional methods, you know, using a um, basically plates here on top of the old bearing using a BFH this thing was not budging so what I ended up that was part one you know used heat and cold I actually just used boiling water put it in the freezer that wasn't working plan B was pretty much cutting out the whole inside of the race this is the actual outside of the race but what I initially done was I cut out all the inside of the races and I used this piece of eighth inch steel battering on it with a long pipe, still nothing. So then I got to thinking, okay, what have I got at my disposable here? I actually use this device called a bolt buster when I'm working on cars. It's actually pretty handy. It gives you like, it will pretty much, does, does, this, does the same to some extent as an oxy torch, except you don't have to worry about flames and you can use these adapters here to get around the, 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 the nut and the bolt. Um, you can see there's this this one here that I purchased. This is an accessory for 25 bucks. This will actually just go in and heat a component. So I bought this about a year and a half ago. Um, probably one of the best things I ever done. I'm not really that comfortable having an oxycetylene set up in the garage. You know, I have a rented accommodation. So anyway, long story short, this is this is my go-to tool. So what I decided to do was use one of the wires here and actually use this to to heat heat up the hub here so as I can get this bearing free. So what I've pretty much done is, you can see this is the top of where the bearing would sit and this is the retaining ring. If you guys are in there doing this job, when you first start seeing it guy, you may not even see this retaining ring. There was so much crap and crud. I mean, so initially in there, I just went in there, you know, scraped it off, used, you know, got a cold chisel in there and, and was able to get rid of this retaining ring. So I'm stating the obvious, you know, on this, hub if I just turn it over this is the base of the hub and it's and the bearing actually sits against here in this in this groove right in here so you know your first impression I know some people might think well you might just need to start hammering on here no this is actually what it sits in this is a reset a recess and I can show you in there so you can see that's the recess that's the base of the bearing so what the MO is pretty much you know, on a press, I have a 20 ton Harbour Freight press that you've probably seen on another video that I'd probably highly rec recommend, cheap and cheerful. Um, what you need to do is obviously start, um, the bearing is only going to come out in this direction. So what I ended up doing, guys, was, as I mentioned before, I took out all the inner races. In this case, I used a piece of, I want to say like one inch, scrap steel this is you know like a piece of round stock you know cut it off you could use an angle grinder i use a cold saw whatever whatever your ammo is and put it get it to the diameter of you know the, the the outer diameter of that race and if you heat it up you know it will kind of weld itself to there um, and then basically you use the press then in conjunction with the bolt buster to get this puppy free so Invariably what you have, the situation you have, you have, let's imagine this is the, the bearing, you know, this is obviously pressed out, but it's, it's way in there. So you have this coil, and as you can see, most of the corrosion is right at the base. You know, this, this bearing here at the bottom is pretty much, you know, there's so much rust over the years. It's been in here for, what, 14 years? That this is a nightmare to get out. So what, I, what you do is, from the top, with this contraption or something similar, you press, press down, and you, you'll get it to the press, it ain't going to move. So what you do then, you basically, in my case, I put this heating coil, put this coil over this bolt buster, it just plugs in on the top. Obviously at this point you have pressure on the press. And what I do is, you don't want to heat it up too much. What I find is like, if you get to like 250, 300 degrees Fahrenheit um, and do three or four cycles, it will. that was enough in my case to break it free. I have a, a temperature gauge here that I use, like an infrared thermometer. So I know when I get to like 250, 300, 
shut it off, do it again, and in that case you'll hear a loud kerplunk and the thing is free. Now I know there's a lot of ways to do this, but this is I'm this is going to be my go-to method going forward for, for wheel bearings. As I said, I know you guys you might not have a press, you may not have a bolt buster. This is just something to consider. There's a lot of kits out there that you can get from freight and places like that where you know they have discs in here and then you get an impact on there. I guess like everything, there's pros and cons. The one pro with this approach is that you know you can cut out any bearing and just basically come up with any piece of if you can get some round stock, you can get it to that point where you can drive it in there. You're not basically having to go in there and maybe mill or, or deal with um getting a, a, a plate here of the right diameter so you know I'm sure I might get some comments well I do it this way and this works for me and, and, and I appreciate that guys everybody has their MO this was the wheel bearing from hell in this hub and this pretty much saved my bacon um, so as I say this happens to be a Mazda 626 but this could work on any vehicle so hey I hope it's helped you out if it has great and like I keep saying in my videos if it's helped one person, then it's been worth it. Because I wish I had this video um, a little ways back. So, hey, if this has helped you guys, I run an organisation, Helping the Humble. You may have seen it on other videos. Just send me a buck. Hey, I'm Stevie Scotsman. Take care. Cheers.